By definition, a trial is a test. And in 1996, the New York Giants were tested often. Sometimes they made the grade. They certainly had ability. Yet even when this young team did things right, they still seemed to go wrong. A particular trouble spot was offense. Come on, though! Come on, though! But standing fast against the tough times was the proud tradition of giant football. In week five, the 1956 championship team was honored and the Giants ran over the playoff bound Vikings. Make the handoff and around for Aaron Pierce. Takes a tackler and it's in. Touchdown! And they take the lead on the Vikings. Then in week 13, the 86 Super Bowl squad reminded everyone of what winning was all about. And the Giants upset the defending champion Cowboys. Dealey's got him at the Giants 15 10. Fumbles the football and the Giants pick it up. What a play! But from the opener, in which they failed to hold a 17 to nothing lead. Ball is loose. And let's see, they rule it a fumble. Buffalo has it. To the season finale, in which they surrendered a 22 point advantage. This was a season of missed opportunities. No one wanted to make the tackle that time. You do it. No, you do it. No, I'll take him. No, you take him. Although the Giants played hard for Coach Dan Reeves, frustration set in. The team lost 10 games and it became clear that a change of direction was needed. At season's end, the Giants welcomed a new coach with a new approach. You've got to be able to make big plays. You've got to be able to strike from different places on the field. And, and we have to very much upgrade the amount of big plays that were produced here last year. You've got to want to make big plays. The way you make big plays is by outperforming a guy in front of you. Let's make big plays today. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Win. Coach Fossil will have no shortage of weapons at his disposal this coming season. Brown pitches right, gets to Wheatley. He'll throw half back option wide open. Callaway, touchdown! Michigan to Michigan! Nor will there be a shortage of desire. One of the youngest teams in the league, the Giants have fresh legs, hungry hearts, and the will to make a run for greatness. I want us to be a smart, tough football team. Our description would be, we're professionals and we're paid to win. We're not just paid to show up for our job. In his first off-season practice with the team, Coach Fossil showed he's a man who knows exactly where he stands. And this is a meadow. That's what it's called, the Meadowlands. This is a pretty good-sized meadow right here. The New York area's latest addition is a man known in football circles for his keen understanding of offense. Feel that, and then you'll see the hole in the reed, and then you'll go, okay? And he knows precisely what style of attack he wants this season. When we get up there, we're going to set a tempo, and the biggest thing that's got to happen is line, you get up, get down, and boom, we're gone. I mean, we're going to be in and out of the huddle. Our lines are set, and we're after their ass. We're going to catch a lot of people standing up, kind of, Man it around and we're after him. Okay, we're gonna set our tempo. If Jim Fossil seems comfortable directing traffic on a football field, it's because he's had a lot of practice. Hey, hey. Now we're gonna run 35 out of this. Okay. I've seen a sprint on Last season, as the offensive coordinator for the Arizona Cardinals, his offense produced the NFL's highest individual rushing, receiving, and passing days. They can uh, scrape block people and cut people off. He was also instrumental in rejuvenating the career of veteran quarterback Boomer Esiason. I probably could have brought the Z in motion. What do you want to do? Set and shuffle, shuffle, relax, relax. Just buy yourself a little time. In a three-game stretch, Esiason passed for over 1,100 yards, earning Fossil the praise of his peers. I think that uh, for a team that has struggled on offense, being in the lower half of the league like the Giants, 
he will be the, the proper ingredient for that offensive team. Red 85. In 1993 and 94, Fossil was the right ingredient for John Elway's career. Knock his orange glasses off. Knock them down. Boy. How much you give if I knock the orange glasses off? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's he's responsible for for a lot of why of why I'm where I am today is is because of the techniques and uh, the different things that he gave me as a coach. Okay, 25 back to right, Louis. Louis, Louis. On the check with me package. Let's go check with me, check with me, on one, right? Out of ace. Ace, ace, ace! Ace! The one I, I've kind of highlighted there that I, I look at and I like it is, is the pass fullback 3x hitch. You know, I think that the best thing that happened today for Dave Brown is going to be a Jim Fossil, just because of the scheme and the way that Jim spends the time and coaches those quarterbacks. You know, you look at all the quarterbacks he's been with. He's been with Elway, he's been with Hostetler, uh, last year with Boomer and Kent Graham, and earlier with Phil Simms, and it seems like wherever he goes, those quarterbacks have their most productive seasons. The number one thing he's trying to do with me is kind of uh, cut away the rough edges. Pro! Not pro, pro! Same thing, now hold the count. You gotta be a little bit, you're trying to get him off with this. There it is, that's good, that's good. Good hard voice and pro! Get him to jump. I think last year he looked a lot like he was uncomfortable and he, he was hurried. He looked like he was out of sync with timing. What we're trying to do right now is start him from the very basics and slow him down a little bit. Pause on the get off, David. Pause on the get off for timing. Good, good. Oh, we're ready to move away. Nice shot, that's good. Pause on it, man. Don't get up, don't get anxious on your toes. You know, just sit, 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 sit. Be ready to throw it. You focus so much on um, studying defenses and studying your own plays and doing this and that, that uh, maybe the fundamentals of throwing are lost in the, in the yeah, wash. Right there, keep it down, down, down. Down, boy, down. Jim's kind of getting back to basics where he wants me to smooth my drop out and smooth my release and, and uh, actually drop back a little bit slower and be a whole lot smoother and, and, and make better decisions in that process. Oh, we got bust. Good job, good decision. That's a good job. That's a nice job. Hey, you know what? That's a hell of a job finding a guy. You got a broken route. Find somebody and give him the football. I think Dave has real good potential. Uh, how good he can be will be how fast we can get these things across to him. Pop it. Sooner, sooner, sooner. Got to get it sooner. And of course, Dave can improve to a certain extent, and then we got to have the supporting cast around and play better also. While he tries to slow quarterback Dave Brown down, Coach Fossil wants the pace of the offense to pick up. Hey, we're way too slow getting set on the left side. Get up here and get out. Now listen, we don't have the idea yet of getting up and getting set. We're not even close. I want you to get up, I want you to get set, and we're going to snap the football. Don't wait for anybody. You give them enough time and that's it. You get right up there underneath them, David. Chase them up. Speed it up. Go off and wait for us. Go, David. In time, practice will make perfect. Brown pumps, Wasso down the left side, wide open as Lewis, he catches it at the one and leads it to the end zone for a touchdown. The future may look bright, but in 1996, the Giants' game plan for success got away from them early. Their first win wouldn't come until week four, a game in which cornerback Philippi Sparks was wired for sound. Boom! Let's go, boy! Not a problem. The Giants edged ahead thanks to dominant blocking. Turn it up. And a great individual effort. Now back to pass. Look at Philip. He's got Callaway open at the five. Throws it to him. Callaway dies for the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, Chris Callaway makes big plays with the Giants. Hey, good protection in there. Good job. Good so protect. The offense had done its part, and the defense would wrap it up. Philippi ah! Sparks was just one member of a solid overall defensive unit. Just to the kid, bro. As the leader of the defensive line, Michael Strahan was effective bowling his way through double teams to rush the passer.
and jumping outside to stuff the run. He shared the team lead for sacks with Chad Bratsky. Linebacker Corey Miller stuffed the run, while Jesse Armstead stuffed everything in his path, leading the team in tackles. At corner, Jason Seahorn had a Pro Bowl caliber season, even though he surprisingly did not make the Pro Bowl. On the year, he led the team in forced fumbles and interceptions with five of each. Let's set a throw. Intercepted by Seahorn running down the right sideline. Touchdown, Jason Seahorn. If special teams are the heart and soul of a football team, then the Giants have plenty of both. The new sensation on special teams was a rookie named Amani Toomer, who provided the possibility of a thrill every time he touched the ball. Gets to the 40, gets a block up to midfield. Still running down the left side line. Toomer got one man to beat. Cuts back to the right to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Amani Toomer! On the year, Toomer returned two punts for touchdowns, leaving defenders scattered in his wake. In Toomer, the Giants have a proven game breaker who can change the course of a game at any time. The special teams would trigger the Giants' most complete win of the season against the Lions. Takes the snap, it's blocked in the end zone by the Giants! It is a safety, Tito Wooten is the man. The offense did its part. Looking to the right, he's got Lewis, touchdown Giants! And the defense played their most dominant game of the season shutting down the great Barry Sanders and creating some offense of their own as Maurice Douglas returned an interception 32 yards for a touchdown. In all, defense for seven turnovers that led to 29 points. Ray Agnew capped off the day in grand style. Hit as he releases it, and the pass is bobbled, and they're fighting for it. Ray Agnew has the interception, running oh. on the left side. Oh. And a 6'3", 285-pound earthquake, runs it in, and touchdown! Oh, man, Ray Agnew! Statistically, the offense was more pigeon than hawk in 96. But that will change this season. You know, so much is made of don't make mistakes. And I think with Jim, obviously that's true, but he also feels that, hey, if you make a mistake, forget about it. We're going to make enough positive plays, enough big plays to overcome that. In Chris Calloway, the Giants have a reliable receiver. Against the Cardinals, backup quarterback Danny Cannell hooked up with Thomas Lewis for the game winner. In Howard Cross and Aaron Pierce, the Giants are set at tight end. Added to the receiving mix will be this year's first round draft pick, Ike Hilliard. A proven playmaker, Hilliard will be an integral part of Coach Fossil's new scheme. With Scott Gregg, Ron Stone, and Brian Williams paving the way, Rodney Hampton will have room to roam. Tyrone Wheatley showed he had the moves.
While fullback Charles Way was the offense's best all-around player. The Giants are a talented team, but to win this year, they must play with the same sense of tradition that carried them to their two biggest wins of 96. In week five, the Giants looked on as the 1956 championship squad proudly marked its 40th anniversary. It's Charlie Connolly to Kyle Rose and ring up six more points for the Giants. Giants in the house, let's go! The inspired 96 team responded against the undefeated Vikings. First and goal for one. Makes the handoff, end around for Aaron Pierce, takes a tackler and it's in! Touchdown! The little end around to Pierce, and the Giants get their first rushing touchdown of the year. Brad Deloiso lifted the team with three field goals and would finish the year with the highest field goal percentage in team history. The 1950s were arguably the toughest era of pro football. And with the 56 team in the house, the Giants' defense fittingly played with 50s era toughness. With the Vikings driving for the winning score late in the game, the defense rose up. First and 20 from the Giant 32. Moves pass, intercepted as he throws over the middle, picked off by Felipe Clark. What a big turnover with 3.59 to go. It was nice to see those guys out there in the feeling of knowing that, you know, this is giant football and, and, and it's history, and I'd like to be part of that history someday. At home against Dallas, history was again in the air as members of the 1986 team returned to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the Giants' first Super Bowl title. They had names like Morris, Bavaro, LT, and Sims, and they carried the pride of the Giants to Pasadena and returned with the coveted Lombardi Trophy. On this day, they were back where it all began. A firm reminder to all of what the game of football is all about. Theirs is a legacy of greatness, one to be savored for all time. Tradition may be grand, but it doesn't block, kick, or tackle. Those things the 96 team would have to do for itself against the arch-rival Cowboys. Heavy underdogs, the Giants face not only the brash swagger of the defending Super Bowl champions, but the inner voice of doubt that demands of all young teams one simple question. Can we do it? Drops back, fires over the middle, complete to Urban, who drops the football. Giants say a fumble. They pick it up and they're running with it. There it goes is. Tito Wooten down the right sideline. He will score. Touchdown, Giants. Corey Whitmer made the hit. Nice strip on the tackle. And after the reception, no doubt about it, Urban did fumble. And the Giants are really coming up here to snuff. Maybe it's that 86 team that just say, hey, we got to play up here today. They certainly are. In the heat of battle, the Giants discovered a resolve within themselves never to give up. That spirit of resolve was summed up on one crucial first down by Charles Way in the fourth quarter. There, David nailed Goliath with a memorable sling. Fake the handoff for Rodney Brown to throw in the end zone. Touchdown, Giants! Brian Kozlowski! And the Giants have grabbed a 19-6 lead. A defense that held Emmett Smith to 18 yards, the worst rushing output of his career, would deliver the knockout blow. Throwing left, he's got Moose Johnson at the 50. Hit, fumbles the football, and the ball is loose. Giants have it on the far sideline. 
In their season of trial, the Giants learned that being part of a tradition is not something to be wished for. It is something to be earned. The storied 72-year tradition that is Giant football will continue in 1997, when longtime owner Wellington Mara receives football's highest honor, induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's the kind of guy that uh, I think professional sports needs. He's genuinely concerned um, about the players, the outcome of the game, and not because it's something that um, you know, he's a, he's a guy who invested money and, and bought a team and he wants to see the team win, but he has lived and died with the team, and it, actually, he is one of us. This summer, Wellington Mara will become one of the select few in the hallowed halls of Canton. The speed limit will be significantly raised at Giant Stadium this coming season, as a lean young team takes the field, revved up and ready to run on high octane fossil fuel. Yet as they look to the future, they will not forget the past. In 96, the Giants proved they could play with the best when they were at their best. They also show the esprit de corps necessary for a winning team. Just want a little, little love. That's all. Just want a little love. A trial is indeed a test, and the 96 Giants learned hard lessons that will help them in the future. In the end, they thank their loyal fans for their support and look forward to the construction of a new era, an era that began this offseason with hard work and enthusiasm. Good, good, good. Dump it right there. Turn it up, right to go. Make a block, make a block. Who's number one, Danny? I'm excited about this team. There you go. Who's number one, Howard? I don't think we have stars. I don't think we have somebody that we have to have this guy to win. I think our strength is going to be in numbers. All right, line it up on the ball, on the ball. That's a good job. That's a nice job. That's a very good start. We have a long way to go, okay, to be where we want to be and get this organization to back where it's supposed to be, and that's on top. You got it? All right, good job. Good job. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Win. Win.